Well, good morning. It's me again, and I am back. Uh, yeah, it, it took like a month hiatus uh, from doing what I'm doing. Actually, it looked more like a year or two, right? But uh, you probably have, uh, uh, if you remember, I was in the process of uh, creating videos with regards, well, as a, a means of helping out my fellow service members that are transitioning here to the Pacific Northwest, uh, knowing that we do have five naval facilities around the Puget Sound, three of them in the Kitsap Peninsula right here, one of them up in uh, uh, Oak Harbor, the air station, and another one down here by Everett. Now, I, I created a video on Oak Harbor and Bremerton, but I have still failed, or I have still had to do uh, one over here by uh, Devil Station Everett. You notice this little, you go down towards the water side of Everett, you see this two piers right here? That's Naval Station Everett, right? So, uh, yeah, we are, I live like 10 miles from it, and uh, I know the area really well, just like the whole Puget Sound. Yeah, I own, I own in the of Northwest Washington, so better be here. So, okay, what do we have here? Um, I, I like this right now. I just got a message from uh, a, a shipmate uh, who's a recruiter in Michigan. So, so I'm going to talk for uh, mentioning my name and trusting me so far. And uh, I thought I'd just, just get this thing going so that uh, just to let you guys know what it is like to be stationed here in Naval Station Everett. See how small that base is. This thing is smaller than. Uh, the Naval Station in Yokosuka, Japan. And people think that Yokosuka, Japan is small. No, uh, the Naval Station ever is tiny. But we do have eight ships here, all DDGs. And from all likelihood that another another one's coming up. I don't know if it's a CG or a DDG. But anyway, um, currently having a few service members here looking for homes. So if you find out and take a look at the demographics of uh, uh, Everett, it's just... 30 miles, actually 25 miles north of Seattle. And we all know that it doesn't matter where in the whole of the United States, prices of homes are up. So let me give you a quick uh, a rule of thumb here. If you're looking at homes in Everett, you don't want to go south, right? Remember, you go south, you're heading towards Seattle. Um, Half a million dollar homes now are the norm in uh, Snohomish County and higher. Um, I, I have a young man with his family that I you just got qualified all the way to 600. Can you believe that? Uh, I got a young lady over in Bremerton that I got qualified all the way to uh, uh, the high 400s and another young man going on the Nimitz in the 500s. So that is the norm. Uh, I suggest you guys uh, do your research or ask me about rates, uh, lenders, and anything related to the financial section of uh, trying to get a loan because the rates are still low. Now, the talk about demographics, I said if you head south, the price goes up, right? So it's kind of opposite when you head north of Everett, right? Marysville, Arlington, Stanwood. Uh, you go past Stanwood, this whole section here is all farmland before you hit Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon, Burlington, the price is already up there. It's amazing. You, you go up to Stanwood and Arlington, the price goes down. And you get to Mount Vernon, Burlington, the price goes up. Also, you may want to explore heading east. As I said earlier, I'm helping out a young man here with his family. Uh, we're looking into Sultan. 30 minute, 40 minute drive towards Naval Station Everett. Although the problem is uh, that two-lane highway on Highway 2, it gets pretty crowded, all right? So uh, some things to consider. There are plenty of things to do on this side of the sound. Uh, that's one disadvantage of being in the Kitsap Peninsula where Bremerton is because you got to cross the water. Uh, and it's surrounded by mountains on one side, water on one side. While over here in Naval Station Everett, everything is pretty much open for you. If you're going to the Pacific Northwest, ladies and gentlemen, you better like the outdoors because <laughs> that's all 
what it is about. Even Seattle, uh, you could smell the green. No, I didn't say that wrong. Uh, yes, you could smell the green, and you could smell the leaves, and you could smell the trees, and you could smell the, the climate here. It is just gorgeous. So anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, especially on the different locales on where to live, right? Everett has, is already up there in prices. Uh, the largest building in the world is right here in Boeing, just southwest of it. Uh, Lake Stevens, uh, it's pretty expensive here because of the lake. It's synonymous. It's gotten stereotyped. Um, Monroe, Sultan, it's getting their granite files. Uh, Marysville is getting pretty crowded, especially with the building of Amazon and Smoky Point and another Costco down south. Uh, Arlington is getting crowded, so the prices are, are, are there. Arlington Heights is not as bad. You have to consider a number of factors when you when you get to that point. You know, school for the kids. Uh, how open is the area? How big is the neighborhood? Uh, there's still plenty of open space here in Washington. Okay? So, if you ever get a station, naval station Everett, I was stationed there for two years in a frigate. I know the neighborhood. I know the layout. Uh, if you're getting stationed to Oak Harbor, the airstate, that was my last duty station right here. Uh, it's quite a distance, quite a drive for everything, but if you like that island living, why not? And if you still cherish being alive in these schools 24-7, Bremerton it is for you, all right? Because there is nothing here but Navy. 90% Navy. You think San Diego was Navy? No. Puget Sound Naval Shipyard, Bremerton, uh, Banger, Naval Sub Base, and Keyport. Uh, it is. And it's only 20 miles from Seattle. So hopefully you guys learned something today. If you guys got any question, feel free to shoot me an email, send me a message, Facebook me, send smoke signals. I don't really care. I'm here to serve you guys. You guys take care. Enjoy the day. Post.